All right, we are here in Letar at about 4,200 meters, which is about 13,800 feet. I want to show you what a traditional tea house lodge looks like on the mountain. Uh, this particular place is called the Snowland Hotel, and these are the views from my balcony. Doesn't suck, guys. It's pretty beautiful. Now, these tea houses are very basic, and you don't have any heat, and up at this level, you don't have any electricity. But come, let's check out my room. So, most rooms come with two beds, you can get more beds. Now, if you're a single person like me, what you're going to do is take the mattress from the first bed and combine it with the second bed so you have a little bit extra warmth at night because it is going to get down to freezing as we get up higher to these, the higher up the mountain. Um, I've got a great corner room, totally got hooked up today, so I've got sun coming in, so it's pretty warm right now at about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. have some great views, you can see one of the Chulu Mountains out there, I'm not sure if you can see it through the dirty window, but that's okay, we're not going to open it because we're trying to keep the heat in. And let's look at our map here for a second. We actually started this track, the Annapurna Circuit, out here in Bezi Sahar, and we have gone all the way up, up, up the trail, and we are now currently in Letar at 13,860 feet. Tomorrow we are going to high camp which is around 16,000 feet, and then we will head over the highest peak, or highest pass in this area, Thurong La, at approximately 17,800 feet, and then head on down. So tomorrow and the following day are pretty much going to suck, because we're going to really, really high. So, let's show you what the traditional toilets look like in these little lodges, and then we'll head on downstairs to look at the eating room and the kitchen. This is what your typical toilet looks like in all its glory. This one's very ventilated. Obviously, we have a window, and they're very kind to put a little uh, deodorant fresher, refresher in here. Uh, so anyway, that's a squat toilet. Live it, love it, learn it. Learn to aim, girls. That's all I'm saying. So, come on down. peek into the dining room. Now this one's great because it's got some nice panels up on the roof and it's warm in here. So we're just going to peek in. I'm going to try not to fall. <laughs> Watch the rocks. Watch me knock myself out at the lodge versus the mountain. So we're just going to quick peek in, wave, and back out. <laughs> and when we're coming in here, this is the inside dining area when it's a little bit colder. And this is what your traditional kitchen looks like. And hopefully we can see it with some of the darkness here, but very basic. And uh, usually they're going to use wood or kerosene. They try not to use wood up here because it's very sparse. And this is where our meals come from, which, note to self if you ever do this, order your food before you want it at least an hour it because it'll take a while. So let's come on back out. Oh, yeah, man. And most people just lounge around when they get here. We like to typically stop around 1 o'clock to give our feet rest. We start out around 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning. And it's enough. I mean, as the higher you get, you don't want to hike miles and miles and miles. So these are the views. And uh, tomorrow, we have one more day before we hit the pass. We'll enjoy. So this is day 8. And, uh, yeah, we'll probably be done in Johnson in about four or five more days. So... We'll see you then.